John here with Moving Well, Being Well, and I hope you're keeping well. Boys and girls, today we're going to do a movement break all about throwing and catching. So I want you to move in your chairs, I want you to find some space on the floor, make sure you're not going to hurt yourself or you're not going to bump into anybody beside you. For this game, we're going to be doing some catching. So you need to have an object like a rolled up piece of paper or a hat or a pair of gloves put together, or in my case, a scarf. Now maybe your teacher has a bean bag or a balloon that you could use, but I'm going to give you a few seconds to pause this video and get sorted. Now you may remember with catching, it's very, very important to do a few things. One of them is when you throw up the object that you're going to be catching, you need to turn your hands into a basket shape and keep your fingers spread with little gaps in them. It's very important also to follow the object with your eye so that you can catch it. We're going to include some extra movements before we catch our object. First one we're going to do is a simple clap. Throw up, clap, and catch it. Let's try that together. Here we go. Three, a do, a hain. Okay, how did you get on? Was that easy? Good stuff. Now we're going to try and throw it up. We're going to try and clap behind our bodies, and then we're going to catch it. Ready? Three, a do. Ahain. Mm, that's a little bit trickier. But notice when I was clapping behind my back, my eyes were still on the object at all times. All right. The next one we're going to do is trickier still. We're going to throw up our object. We're going to tap our knees and we're going to catch the object again. You ready? Three, a do, a hain. Okay, not bad. And the last one we're going to do is we're going to throw our object up in a straight line. We're going to turn around really quickly and then we're going to catch it again. This one's a little bit trickier and after we try it, I want you to tell me why. Here we go. Three, a do, a hain. Oh, that was close. Now that might take a bit of practice before you get it right. Why do you think we found that one harder? Well done. When we threw up the object that time, we weren't able to keep our eyes on it because we had to turn around. And unless you've got eyes at the back of your head, there's going to be a few seconds where you can't see the object. That's what makes it so much harder. Okay, let's give this a go. I am going to tell you what to do before you throw it and you have to try and do that action. So we're going to start with a clap to the front. Three, a do, a hain. Very good. Now we're going to try tapping our knees. Three, a do, a hain. Excellent. Now let's mix it up. I want you to try clapping on the front, touching your knees, and then catching the object. That's two. You ready? Three, a do, a hain. Okay. We have less time when we have to do two actions. Now I want you to try clapping to the front, clapping to the back, and then catching our object. Three, a do, a hain. That's a tricky one. Let's try that one one more time before we move on. Three, a do, a hain. Very good. Now, let's try the twirling one one more time because that was the one that I found most difficult. Three, a do, a hain. Now remember, the higher you can throw your object, the more time you have to spin around. Hmm. This time, I want you to clap behind your back Clap your knees or touch your knees and then catch your object. Think you could do it? Let's see. Three, a do, a hain. Ah, oh, so close, I almost had it. You know what happened? I took my eye away from it for a second and that's why it fell. Let's try that again, just for my own pride. Three, a do, a hain. Ha, that's better, yes, did it. Okay, now I want you to try and clap, turn around, and then catch your object. This is the hardest one we've done so far. Here we go. Three, a do, a hain. Yes, we did it. How did you get on? Now don't forget, you can play this game as much as you want. You can have one person calling all the orders, or maybe your teacher might do it. You can play at home, you can play in the classroom, you can play on yard. Use your imagination and expand the game as much as you want. You might even try and include three different actions before you catch it. 
I'm not trying it here though. I've dropped the ball once already today. Now remember, when you're practicing this skill, don't forget. And also,